Hi, I'm Tom. I'm with the Ozark Garden Railway Society. We all love to run trains, but we got to have a reason to do it. In my case, I got my towns, I got a carousel park, which is our fairgrounds, I have a circus. Along with motion, we all love to have sounds, and I'm going to show you a couple really easy ways to have both. We were watching a movie, and it was a, a carousel running with teacups. And my wife said, boy, that would be a neat ride to have. So we were in Wyoming, and Casper went to the toy shop. There it was, a teacup set. So I already had the turntable, so I built this little carousel tea ride. The other one I have on the table, and it is airplanes running. So I use precision board on both of them to uh, build it up from the turntables. So I'm just going to pull this up, and now you see the drive unit. This drive unit is part of just a hobby unit that you buy to display uh, toys or uh, model cars and so forth. But what this thing is built up on that operates with this is these things are generally just a flat disc that fits on these and all you do is take your take your material build up on the on the disc to be whatever you want to have for a ride and build you a containment around it so they got some place to walk up on but all it does is you've got this plate you've got a d-cell battery you can change your speeds right here you've got an on and off switch which really makes it makes it easy to work with. You can turn this thing off if you want it to run slow or fast. You can take this little sprocket, change it over here, and it will change the speed. So if, depending on how fast you want your ride to run, it's just a simple case of turning off and changing your sprocket. Now you're going at a different speed. If you go on the internet, turntables, you're looking probably around a $25 for something like that. On the other unit I've got here, which is the airplane ride, it also has a turntable, but it's a little bit different type of turntable. I'm going to pull up the airplanes. Got this rod here, and it just goes right down into, it's a very simple unit. This can be purchased, it's called 3000 Toys. There's, there's no limit that your imagination can come up with to be able to use some of these turntables to give you some animation and motion in your layout. The other thing about a garden railroad, you can have motion and so forth, but nobody's deaf. Everybody's, you know, you gotta, you gotta be able to hear things, see what's going on. That's where sound effects come in. And I'm going to pull up some units here. The, I tore them apart to put them back together so I can show you easier uh, how to set these up. And I have a lot of sound in my layout where it's, uh, it's honky-tonk music, where it's uh, barnyard sounds or sawmill sounds or, or whatever. You place it in certain areas. When people walk from one area to the other, your, your layout has come alive. One item you can do, go to your computer, take your little CD player, and record whatever sounds you want, because this thing will go on for a long time. I got this, I think, at Best Buy. It's a little speaker unit that you can, you can turn on. It's got volume control and everything, so you can actually hook this up. And you could place this whole, whole thing inside a building or whatever. This, this particular unit here, and I use a lot of these little cards. These are from Innovative Train Technology, and they're in uh, California. And they have all kinds of recordings. They got a lot more recordings now than when, when I did these, but I wanted to put in a mining operation, and I've always loved this particular sound. It's called Mine Blast, and I'm going to turn it on. And it brings my mind alive. So 
So this is this, like I said, this is innovative train technology sound card. And basically you got a sound card, you got a speaker, about an 8 ohm speaker. What I do, that's a cap of a spray can of paint. You want to enclose the back side of the speaker, that throws the sound out the speaker instead of just going from all directions and it really intensifies the speed and also up in the corner if you can see this little yellowish orange unit there that is your that is your control for your loudness of your of your speaker this i just happened to be a a packet that it just worked out real good just to put it in here and and the wiring is real simple you have where your power comes in you have where your power goes to the speaker and you have where you have a switch you can put a switch in that to turn it on and off whenever you want to I loop it because I want the thing to continually continually run so when that trains going around or just sitting at the station you got a constant sound whether it be cattle or whatever now my bordello I have a bordello sound honky-tonk music so it goes on time after time. It's, it's looped. It has about a one second, I guess, hesitation between the loop. So that way you can have the cattle signs. What this is, I've got two speakers on a piece of plastic. I've got two sound cards. One of them says steam whistle and the other one, but what it is, is track sound. So you hear the click, 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 click sound of the of the wheels going across the track. Once again, same situation, wiring it up. I just got wires going to the speakers. I set this up to where one battery runs both of them. But if you want to take and run your power, you can go to whatever car, go down, and wherever you have a light coming in that passenger car, I disconnected the light. I use that power coming up from the track. You'll hear all these sounds. Right now, I'm going to show you what it does with the battery. If you don't have something like that, it's very simple just to plug it in for a battery. You can kind of hear the track sounds right there, and you hear the, the squealing of the rails when it goes around the curve and it has the whistles. So it's just two speakers, two boards, loop, to loop both boards to where you can have the sounds running constantly. Now you got your train that's actually got sounds on it, a very economical way of doing it. You put a hole in the bottom of the car, like I've done in this plastic, just lay this down inside your car. Your car is enclosed anyway, so it's going to throw sound out from the car, from the speakers, from here, wherever. So I hope a lot of this will help you in respect of how simple it can be to, to put sounds in your layout. You can, hide, you can do whatever you want to, but it will definitely, because everybody comes and they enjoy the sounds and, and all the things that are going on.